Hi everyone, today I'll be doing a video on scroll powder brushes. I do want to split my powder brush videos up into two videos. I'll do one scroll and one go, or else it will take forever. So I just want to say that I love powder brushes. They're my favorite brush type, and let's get started. Here's a Chikuhoto Z1. This is my favorite finishing brush. It's also extremely dense. If you can see here, it's very dense. It's a rounded shape and the hairs are not too long and not too short. I think it's the perfect shape, uh, the perfect length. And it's densely packed, but since it's squirrel hair, it has medium resistance. So you can just see here. Compared to the strut powder brush, it's more flexible and it's perfect for buffing in everything at the end. So what I like to do is I'll use my Makeup Forever HD Loose setting powder to set my foundation and then I'll go in with um, Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and Diffuse Light and then I'll use this and I'll buff everything in together seamlessly and it looks really good. I highly recommend trying this technique out just using two powders instead of one. It's not going to make your face cakey like scroll powder brushes will never make your face cakey unless you apply I don't know like 10 layers or something but I only apply one layer so it looks seamless and very nice. Next is the 2015 Lumiere powder brush from the Christmas Chikuhoto set. It's similar to the Z9, but it's about one or two centimeters longer in length. And I'm gonna do this to show you. It's a flattened oval shape. How do I? So if I go like this, you can see the oval ferrule. And it has medium density as well as flexibility. So Next is the MK1. This is a beautiful brush that has a peony handle. I actually thought these were roses at first, but they're not. Um, this is denser than the MK2, even though they have the same measurements. Twirl, twirl, twirl. And it's more flared out as well. I'll do a comparison very quickly after this, but I've already made a post about this in the subreddit, so if you if you want to know more specifics, go ahead and check out the subreddit, and there's a post on that. Here it is compared to the MK2. As you can see, the MK1's head, it flares out a bit more, and it's also denser, so if I, let me see if I can show you this in the video. It might be a bit hard to see, but the MK2 is actually what everyone wants when they first get into Fude because it has a gorgeous Sakura handle. I like these brushes, but I actually like the Z1 more because it's a rounded shape. So let me just do a quick comparison as well. You can see this. This is oval shaped and this is circular. Um, I do prefer circular brushes in general for face because I can buff everything easier and like just do this buffing motion. This one I can buff with as well but it's just harder to do as opposed to doing it with the Z1. So like I mean it can go like this and I can go like this. It's, it's just harder. I think the Z1 might be more flexible due to its shape. Next up is the Koyuro Red Handle Gray Scroll Powder Brush. It supposedly has the same head as the BP9, but I would imagine the hairs are softer due to the hair color difference. This line is underrated, and I think everyone should give it a try. It's the softest brush I own, and it actually feels like Koyuro Red Scroll. If you've never felt Koyuro Red Scroll, it's, it's extremely soft and fragile. But um, this one doesn't feel as fragile as the Red Scroll hairs. And the brush, this brush is the airiest brush out of all of the ones I've discussed so far. Um, so here's the twirling motion and you can see it's not a very dense brush. And then if I go like this, it has the least flexibility as well. But it is very, very soft. Um, I would rank this a 10 out of 10. Here's the black handled version of the BP9. This came out about a year ago. Uh, it was pretty cheap. It was like heavily discounted due to the handle, I think, because it doesn't say Kogido on it. Also, it's a pretty cheap feeling plastic handle. It's not lacquered or anything. 
This actually has the same head as the red handle version as well since they both have the same heads as the BP9. The only things that are different is that the red handle version is a little bigger in diameter. Like the head surface area is bigger than the black handle version. The interesting thing about it is that the hair color is different. If you can see, this black one has lighter brown hairs and this red handled version has black hairs. Usually gray squirrel brushes from, at least from Chikuhodo and Hakuhodo, they have lighter brown haired colors. So something that's similar to this black one right here, but for some reason, Koyudo decided to either dye the squirrel hair black or they got a special type of squirrel, I'm not sure. Um, it is definitely softer, like this red squirrel brush is definitely softer than the black handled counterpart. And I highly recommend the red handled version because this one sold out, you can't buy it anymore, but the red handled version is my second top favorite brush. Um, if I did not have the Z1, then this one, this red squirrel one would definitely be my favorite. Okay. Next up is the Artisan and Artist SGP02. This is made by Chikuhoro and it's supposed to be for blush but it can double up for powder as well and it has a circular circular ferrule <laughs> could talk for a moment um, hairs are a good length I would say it's something similar to the Koido red handled version I mean the head is smaller so maybe the black handled one is pretty simil similar the hairs are on the coarser side of squirrel, so something similar to Paula Dorf in Wayne Goss 02, if you're familiar with that brush. Next, we have the Koyudo Fupa 14. This is an extremely densely packed squirrel brush with shorter hairs than the Z1, which means that it has even better buffing ability. So if you can see, it's the hairs are short, it's very stubby, and it's very, very densely packed go like this this is a wonderful brush that I would recommend to everyone I wouldn't recommend it to be used with loose powder foundation as the binding agents in the product makes the hairs tacky feeling last up is the Wayne Goss 2015 holiday brush this is the version of the Hakuhodo Kokutan finishing L brush it's a flat shaped brush that is third place in terms of softness when compared to the Koyudo Red Handle Powder Brush and the Chikohodo ones. So, let's see, flat. It also tapers outwards like this. 